What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be doing a reaction and give some of our thoughts on the Madden NFL 22 official reveal trailer. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, so jumping into it here, my first thoughts on this trailer are that it looks like a standard Madden trailer until I start seeing some of this stuff on the screen. And I start to realize, okay, well wait, how long is this video? Oh, it's two minutes long. It looks like a longer than normal Madden tra trailer. And then we get this on the screen, change happens. And I'm like, okay, are they alluding to something? When are they gonna start getting into these changes with the game? Well, the game looks great, and I want you guys to keep an eye out for this Derrick Henry stiff arm coming up. This one is huge. It is a really nice animation to see. Hopefully, stiff arm is back this year, and it's really nice to see how close that is to real life. Uh, but what I did want to get into is that this trailer looks more professional. You know, it's longer, more in-depth, uh, and I could be wrong about the length of it. I mean, it's probably the same length as others, but it seemed longer to me. It seemed more in-depth, or at least, at the very least, the presentation of this is more professional, and that is my first thought on the trailer. And then we start to get into some of these major changes that are going on within the game, and I think that these are absolutely massive. So we're going to go ahead and break some of these down as we go through here and I want to you know pause on some of these screens so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about with these additions to the game so this is where we really start to get into the meat and potatoes of today's video and the things that we care about on this channel primarily and that is the major changes that they've made to franchise mode this year so they've made according to this and according to operation sports the article that they put out basically four major changes to franchise mode number one you guys will see up at the top of the screen here here, the talent trees for coaches well not only the talent trees but they've also added in supporting coaches so offensive coordinators defensive coordinators and accordingly they've also added in player personnel and uh, scouts so that is going to be absolutely huge for this but something that I think they are doing to take a step past what is expected of them and into the realm of what they should be doing they took a note from their NCAA games back in the day and they added in these coaching skill trees which is absolutely huge so you're now gonna have the ability to hire and fire coaches as well as upgrade them based on you know their their skill trees in addition to that you guys can see in the top right hand corner that they've added in decision making and the decisions that you make throughout your franchise are going to affect what happens with your coach so that looks like a huge addition the next addition that they've made to the game is game planning and they've made it possible if you see on the left side bottom right hand corner and you'll see on the next screen as well They've made huge changes to game planning where you now have these weekly uh, weekly game planning sessions. You have game planning moments within the game where you can you know, game plan throughout the game. You can game plan before the game. Uh, more in depth, you get more information on your opponent in terms of their yardage totals and stuff like that. And you'll see that on the next screen. And I think that that stuff is absolutely massive. That stuff you know, is, is a huge improvement and that's gonna matter for whatever type of franchise you have going well whether it be a, uh, you know, just traditional user versus user franchise or simulation style franchise, those things are all going to be massively important to the depth and immersion within the game. Then we transition over to this screen. In this screen, we get even more of that game planning stuff you guys can see in the top center of the screen that you're getting yardage totals. You're getting a lot of different feedback in terms of your game plan. There's defensive game plan, offensive game plan, which is fantastic. Um, you're seeing some of the same. So there's a note there to be said that while there are additions to this game, we're going to get a lot of the same stuff still. If you look at the top right hand corner in terms of the schemes and everything like that, that's the same information, you know, that's. Uh, the same screen as it was in the past game. It just looks a little bit different because of the modified presentation this year. So, you know, while there is all of this positive potential change going on within the game, something to keep in mind is that um, there is still going to be primarily the same game, just with important additions, important changes, and so the potential is there, but I do want to keep that asterisk that, you know, this stuff needs to be executed properly in order for this 
this stuff to to really come to fruition another thing that they added here in the bottom portion of the screen in the center is you guys will see that they have this members list and it is sorted out by division so if you guys have ever ran a franchise if you're a commissioner in a franchise if you help out with a franchise you guys will know how important that change is because that helps organize the information so much better and it's going to be so much easier to access who's in your league and it's going to be so much easier for us to determine how to balance our divisions and things like that so from the perspective of what what we see on the screen here you guys can see that there's what three users in the AFC West in the bottom right and there's only one user in the AFC North and so that makes it super easy for us to say okay well the next person we invite has to go into the AFC North to help balance things out and so that is massive from a franchise perspective that is something that I'm definitely looking forward to using and taking advantage of because that takes the pressure off of the users off of the franchise players uh, where we have to record those things ourselves within Discord or within notes and things like that, we no longer should have to do that, um, and that is a huge addition as well. Next up, the thing that I am actually super excited about that I was not expecting them to input into the game at all, but is something that I've talked about on various occasions and I've seen other people talk about, that is at the bottom of the screen here, you will see the manage player health thing going on, and that is super important to me. It looks like we're going to have the the ability to set our practice intensity to tell players to wear full pads you know go go you know just shoulder pads or whatever and that's going to help with you know managing your team's health managing their fatigue throughout the season and I'm sure that this is going to be directly linked with injuries so hopefully injuries will be much more realistic within Madden 22. In addition to that you guys can see that we can set the position starters versus maybe backup players in terms of who's getting reps and things like that so I'm hoping that that is is something we can change that is something that would be absolutely huge in in determining who actually gets practice reps who doesn't get practice reps you know who sits the intensity of those things player health that is going to be huge for franchise mode and that one I think more than any of these other ones personally speaking is going to increase immersion for me now obviously like I mentioned this is all going to be dependent on whether they actually execute on this properly and that's going to depend on how in-depth that type of thing is from this screen we can only see them potentially changing the practice intensity I would like to be able to handle more of that in terms of like I said in the bottom rights you know determining who gets reps who doesn't get reps all that type of stuff but uh, you know at the very least we can show that they are putting in the building blocks to put us going in the right direction on that front then just to round things out in addition to that you know I think it's important to note here that we have one addition to the game that actually is not highlighted at all within the trailer from my perspective unless they're alluding to it right here with all this stuff going on on the screen uh, is that uh, they've completely revamped scouting this year and so you're actually going to have scouts they're going to have assignments that you have to assign them to to discover uh, players potentials or, or players you know attributes and things like that there's going to be fog of war with scouting so that very much is going to put Madden on par with other sports games in terms of their scouting the draft hopefully it is incorporated into the draft and the draft has a better appearance a better feel makes things more enjoyable but scouting is a great place to start and this really does help bolster the immersiveness of franchise mode and really gets things like I said headed in the right direction um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing more about the scouting like I said I will link you guys down below in the description to this article that I'm talking about from Operation Sports where they talk about all these things and you know I think that uh, you know these four additions the main additions that I talked about hopefully aren't the only additions and the only changes but at the very least we know that they are trying as I said the presentation looks better this year it looks more professional it looks like a legit football game it doesn't look like Fortnite Madden it doesn't look like Spongebob Madden and that's huge for me um, you know then we can take a look at the gameplay side of things and I think that the gameplay looks a little bit improved here I don't say I don't think from that perspective that we can really tell too much on whether there's much different here um, but definitely definitely a solid trailer getting the hopes up 
for Madden moving forward. One thing that I think is absolutely worth noting here is that it is made clear, especially within the Operation Sports article, that this isn't everything coming to Madden 22. Obviously, we are getting some of the biggest, most impactful changes in this trailer. Um, but supposedly there's more to come, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's what's to come from this because they've been quiet up until now. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of information in regards to Madden 22, and so, you know, I really do appreciate this trailer. Like I said, my first reaction is positive. My first reaction is hopeful that uh, the gameplay's improved, that the the franchise mode is more immersive. They've listened to us. Um, I really appreciate what's going on here within the trailer, and I want to hear your thoughts as well. Is it enough? Is it not enough? Are you waiting to see more? Um, any thoughts that you guys have on this trailer, on the game, on the outlook for Madden going forward, let me know that stuff down in the comments section below. Um, you know, certainly I think a lot of this is promising, whether it just be the building blocks to get us going in the right direction moving forward, or whether this actually be is executed to the fullest ability within the first year. I find it hard to believe that it'll all be perfect year one, but I think that at the very least they can give us the building blocks to move forward with a really immersive experience with Madden. And so I'm I'm super hopeful about this after seeing this trailer. I am honestly kind of shocked is the best way to put it um, in the fact that they actually listened to us and in the fact that it actually looks pretty good. Um, so, you know, I wasn't the biggest Madden 21 hater or anything like that. So, so I think that's worth putting out there as well, but certainly looking forward to this. So let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. And finally, I just want to say, you know, like I said, leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. Let me know everything that you guys have to think about this trailer. Um, but as always leave a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, um, you know, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel I know that I've kind of dipped away from the Madden stuff but you guys have to understand my channel is not totally Madden focused I, I play various different games and I'm just trying to help people out with the tips and tricks so you know we're on MLB right now but I'm not opposed to commentating on anything Madden right now and if you guys have any video ideas or, or questions or concerns with Madden leave those in the comment section and I'll try to make a video on them like I said I'm here to help you guys I'm here to serve so let me know all that stuff in the comment section. Like I said, leave that feedback on the video. It helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a good one.